Because I missed my prom. Not my problem. I can't help you. Sorry. Would you like me to teach you? To dance? No thanks. They dance. They're dead. They were once alive. They're dead. I wanted to be a dancer. I knew I was meant to be a dancer. They're dead. Life doesn't allow you to fly in a straight line, Tom. The winds of change see to that. Même les choses mortes sont émues par les choses vivantes. You can start with the mysterious cryptic bull now. How do you even know my name? Did you go to your prom? Why would I want to? There was a girl I liked. Joy. Yes, I know. Joy, Joy. Of course. Doing some writing today? A little. How's your art coming along? Creativity is hard to deny.
dad gave me this. He said I had magic powers. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword kind of thing. Well, he said I could read my thoughts, and if the pen touched the paper, those ideas would leave my mind forever and live on the pages for everyone to read. The trouble is, I don't want everyone to read what's going on inside my head. You want to be a writer? Yeah, because my dad mainly. He would sit with me at night and tell me these amazing stories. He'd walk along the beach and sit down with my brother's rock pools there. Make up stories about the crabs and the clams. The whole world existed that no one knew about, except for those crabs. What was he like, your dad? Oh, he was filled with quotes and sayings and stories. There was nothing he didn't know. Sounds like an amazing man. He is. Was. Dad liked butterflies. He said that if you saw a butterfly by the ocean, you know its journey was hard. The breeze coming off the ocean pushes them away. And the odds are against them, but sometimes, just sometimes, one is so determined to see beauty that they'll find a way, regardless of how hard the path is. I wonder where it's headed. You don't talk much, do you? Why answer a question you already know the answer to? What's your name? Esperanza. It's an unusual name. It means hope. Why are you dressed like that? I'm practicing to be an angel in the Christmas play. I don't like Christmas. It's a bit of a waste of time if you ask me. You think the reindeer know? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, when you're a kid, it's fun. The mysteries, the surprises. Where does it go next? I loved it all. Yep. See how he eats a cookie? Yes. More snow, more snow. Upside down, upside down. He went to the service on Christmas Eve and headed home and waited for Father like Christmas. That Santa that's just about to try and fit down the chimney. Mm. How does he fit down he the chimney? He's not going to fit down the chimney. How does he fit down the chimney? With magic. That's magic. Right. Does, he, does he have elves within this time, you think? It's all a big lie, really, though, isn't it? It's just a game. Words used to come easy to me. Do you know Roald Dahl's English teacher said he would never be a writer because he couldn't spell and kept on making up words? Look who's laughing now. If he hadn't gone and believed in himself and just ignored her own comments, we wouldn't have had Charlie in the Chocolate Factory or Matilda on the BFG. What about closing your eyes and embracing your thoughts? No, thanks. Try it, come on, we can do it together. People will think I'm totally crazy. I'm not a hippie, you know. Sometimes if we try new things, we can surprise ourselves. Seriously, no thanks. No one's watching, Tom. Idea anyway. Why should I listen to you? I never said you should listen to me. I said you should listen to yourself. Sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo if you ask me. Listen to what's going on inside of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it might have something to do with this little present. There it is. It's for you. Go ahead. Open. You can open it. Guesses on what it could be?
<laughs> it's not very noisy, is it? No. How do you think it can open it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think you push it. It's just like Daddy's pen. So that you can write Santa's letter with it, and every year after that. And we're going to have you use Daddy's special paper. You just want me and my dad dead. It was our thing. I mean, he was the guy who could give me everything I ever wanted, everything I asked for. One time I wrote for so long that my hand cramped up. <laughs> my shrink said I should use writing as therapy to express my feelings. Oh, this is gonna be a good Christmas, guys. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Every Christmas was the same. Me and my dad would write the letter and leave it with the cookie, milk, and presents. Next day, as if by magic, the letter was gone and the presents were there. I think his father had done it with him, and it was something that got passed down the generations. So we had a paper? Yeah, your mom needs something, so. If I just used what we had in the house, he wouldn't have gone. One thing that passed you by in your life, what would it be? Uh, yes, uh, of course, of course. What are you drinking? A caramel cinnamon triple skinny something or another. I really have no idea what this is. <laughs> are they, are they had a like chilling and chocolate factory, so they don't like unbelievable. They kind of do, right? Yeah, and that's yeah Charlie. I know. Oh, that's But that's Charlie? I know, um. Willy Wonka. Yes, yeah, Willy no. Wonka. <laughs> I can't believe you said that to you. I know. My dad always told me to treat a lady like a lady. So, uh, are you enjoying going to school? Yep. It can be lonely and I miss my friends. But there are some good souls around. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you going to read me one of your poems on? I read one in the school paper the other day. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, I probably can't let anyone read it. <laughs> what if we swap? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Uh, my art. Oh, right. I'll okay. show you my art. <laughs> so, um, can I see inside your book? Oh. Yeah, totally. They're just little doodles, but special by here. Joy, they're so good. Art's my favorite. Oh, I'm not a fan of Miss Peterson, in all honesty. She seems 
to have an issue with me. Well, some teachers are jealous if the pupils are better than them. So, do you like going to the movies? Yeah. I really want to see Into the Woods. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, maybe we could, um... Hi, Mom. Yep, just grabbing a cup of coffee with a friend. A friend from school, Mom. the time my mom's been waiting. I'm sorry. It's mine. No. I am so sorry. But what could I have done? You did everything. <laughs> I'm trying to stay strong. <laughs> but it's really hard. I love you both so much. You know I told you not to ever do that. Did you ever listen to what Dad and I tell you? What? I could be in a hospital right what? now, you... crying over your bed. You could have died. Oh, I know. if it's so much of a problem, then I won't do it in the future. I don't want... <sighs> Tom, I am so sorry if I didn't do something you did for you. Nothing. We love you. I love you. So we have a paper? Let me uh, check on something with your mom. Okay. Yes, this is she. I will come and pick you up. I don't care what time, where you're at. Your dad and I will always be there for you. We will pick you up. Please, text me, call me. Do you understand, you understand what you put me through? Me through? I love you. Oh, my God. 
serious enough not to have presents this year. <laughs> How do you sleep 16 hours a day? I mean, I wish I could. <laughs> when you're 15, you can sleep through anything, right? Let's go, get dressed, get downstairs. You won't miss all the fun. differently. You couldn't have changed anything because it wasn't your fault. You need to understand what really happened. off the sofa. <laughs> For once. Yes. Is she coming over? Uh, leave her alone. For who? Why don't you call her? No, I'm in traveling, huh? I left my number in her book. She never called. Well, it took your dad a lot more than that to catch me. What, it, the, the flowers that I sent you didn't work? Or the love letter I wrote, right? That was it, or, or, or the song that I wrote you, or... Uh, all right, all right, I get it. A phone number <laughs> isn't big enough for the deal. Hey. <laughs> Wait. I've got an idea. Hmm. He's such a romantic at heart. Just like his dad. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get hurt. How's he ever gonna know if he doesn't try? Huh? I mean, I don't want to jump. But what if I fall? But what if you fly? What makes you so wise? Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to wait till later when we were alone. But now is a good time. I have, um, I have something to tell you. Well, come on. You know how horrible I am at waiting. Why well, put off till tomorrow what you can do today? Right? Live in the moment. The present is a gift. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, you're like a book of quotes. Yes. What's he telling you? Potch. Okay, well, I'm just gonna jump right in. We have to heal the past first. Okay, um, that's not the gift that I was expecting. <sighs> you know, I just... I could not have asked for a better present. <laughs> I mean, are you sure? Just like, like a hundred percent sure. <laughs> How many tests did you take? And you know what? This is great <laughs> news. Yes. Mm. Okay, I, I gotta see for myself. You're gonna have to pee on a stick. I will. Okay. I will. <laughs> Guys, get a room, please. I'm not supposed to be exposed to this kind of affection. It could have a serious detrimental effect on me. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so how'd it go? Okay, you're right. I need to grab the bull by the horns next time. I will leave my name next to her number. She's coming over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, special magic. I decided she should have um, something special to paint, so I set her live art space. She should be here in a few minutes to see it. There we go. You are that? Huh? Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that it's Christmas. Nice. I am happy to be alive. Come here. <laughs> see? Hugging is good for the soul. It is. You're supposed to hug somebody for 20 seconds. That's for you. <laughs> Happy Christmas. All right, Christmas. I got you something. Oh. Well, I actually painted it. I really hope you like it. Oh, wait. This is... This is amazing. I, uh, got you some this way. You make me feel like I can soar above the clouds. You give me the courage to just be. Our words can build us up together. Together we are stronger. Together we can do anything. <laughs> How's he ever gonna know if he doesn't try? Huh? I mean, I don't want to jump. But what if I fall? Give but what me if you fly? For the mistletoe. What if you become so wise? Huh? What if I fall? But darling, what if you fly? I shall keep it forever. I'm, I'm surprised for you. It wasn't much, but I knew she'd like it. She always liked painting real life objects, so I decided I would set her a situation she would want to paint. Joy, welcome. Merry Christmas. Can I take your coat? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Smith, but my family is waiting for me. Every Christmas Eve, we sit around the piano and sing Christmas carols. It's a tradition. <laughs> Yeah, we totally get that, right, son? <laughs> so I guess I'll leave you two alone? Very nice to meet you, Joy. Uh, 
Ow, that wasn't embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I kiss Miss Tom? I'll be here if you want to. I don't know if you want to come back. Why didn't you kiss her? It wasn't the right time. It's never the right time, Tom. <sighs> Perfect. You have to take the moments when they're there. You never know. It might be your last. <clears throat> Should I get the paper and pen? I think his father had done it with him, and it was something that got passed down the generations. Let me uh, check on something with your mom. Okay. No, it's fine, no. Use your other paper, it doesn't matter, use anything. Paper. An envelope, a napkin, it doesn't matter. So we had a paper? You know, the store's open late, and uh, your mom needs some, so. I won't be long. You have to stop him. You know what, son? You know I love him. Don't, no, don't go. Why is no one listening to me? Yeah, I know, Dad, I know. You don't need to go, you don't need it. It's there, keep looking. Stop him. You have to stop him. It's too late, Tom. It's too late. Back. I don't want to see this. Why would I want to see this? Why are you showing me this? I don't want to see this. Why would I want to see this? I wonder where your father is. It's too late.
she doesn't answer it. It can all go away. Stop it. Stop it now. Hello? Take me away. Yes, this is she. I want to leave now. Take me away. Take me away! Why do you keep doing that? I'm connecting, Tom. Connecting with everyone that needs help. Are you here to help me? I'm here to help people that want helping, Tom. What are you dancing to? The music in my head. My head can create anything I want. Right now, I'm at a party with everyone dancing around me. It's the prom I never went to. It's all my proms and parties that I never went to. Some people don't get the chance to see life, to really feel it. Every feeling you get to experience is a gift, Tom. Every time our body experiences an emotion, we become someone different. We build our layers. We grow. Maybe the pain would stop. Each day is too hard. But I don't want to live with it anymore. I don't want to cope with the mistakes I've made. I don't want to feel the pain. A smile on the outside, but inside I'm bleeding. Slow and painful death. All this pain and suffering can go away. I've tried to stop the feelings before. I took some pills. I remember crying. I couldn't stop crying. I was on my own. Everyone looks at you differently after that. They all know. I just wanted someone to notice how I was feeling. They see me crying. I imagine I could jump. I'll be running from something so fast that I could fly. Sometimes my legs wouldn't lift off the ground though, so I'd jump. Breathe in and hold my breath like a balloon to take off. What if I ran like Forrest Gump? I couldn't stop running. I left home, a small suitcase of my important things. Mom hadn't got out of bed for nearly six months. I was scared. No one had even knew I was gone. 
I felt useless. I thought it was my fault. Some food. My mom made especially. It's your favorite. Joy. How are you? I'm good. Sorry I didn't come over soon. Sooner time. I, I really wanted to, but I didn't know when the right time was. I haven't seen you at school lately. My mom is at home right now, so I'm keeping the school work from home. So yeah, um, thanks for coming. I'll um, see you around. I can't do this on my own. I can't do this on my own! There it is again. The voice is telling me it would be better for everyone if I wasn't here. Did I? I could have saved him. I didn't know I was getting a brother or a sister. No one told me. Mom disappeared in the hospital. I was on my own. No one told me anything. I am no one. Where are you when I needed you? We were there, Tom. You just didn't see us. It's just an excuse. I needed help. She's lost a lot of blood. We couldn't save the baby. It all got taken away from me too, Tom. It had only been a couple of months since Dad had died. I had a brother. Or a sister.
this world by no fault of their own. They don't have a choice. They don't have the freedom to choose. Tom, I know you felt you had nowhere else to turn. It hurts. You have no idea how lucky you are. I want to know what it feels like to be hurt, to feel happiness. I want to be able to cry, to feel anger. Those emotions that show you're alive. Those emotions that make you who you are. Why did you leave me? Why did you go? Why did everyone go? I need to know you trust me, Tom. I'm here for you, for no one else. I was taken from this world too early. I had lots to do on this earth, but I never got the chance. When you're with someone who cares, it becomes easier. Less daunting. I didn't do something. <sighs> Nobody 
came to help. If I left today, would it make any difference? Would I be missed? I tried to stay strong. <laughs> but it's really hard. Because I miss you so much. It takes a few bit of time to understand and get over it. But the world would go on and carry on without me. Name a tree or a place after me. <laughs> I miss Tom so much. It was too late. I'm gone. I will return. I will have found peace. Close your eyes. Breathe. so clever, just like your daddy. Are you gonna be a writer when you grow up? <laughs> go on, go on, Grandma. Oh, oh, you know that hugs are like magic, huh? Well, they are. <laughs> but you need to hug for 20 seconds. Special kind of magic no one sees, but it passes through you. When the other person gets that magic, they're joined together forever. <laughs> I have a present for you. Don't look too bad for Grana. Shh. Watch. I was on one of my antique hunts, and it was just sitting there. It's exactly the same one, isn't it? The same one your dad used to use all those years ago. It was just sitting there. So I'm a writer? A successful writer? Mr. Claus will skip our house. <laughs> Probably be sitting over there in his chair, writing or reading us another quote of Hemingway <laughs> or Einstein or someone else amazing. I love you. I love you. Merry Christmas.
Yes. You could show me things from the past and the future, but you can't help her. What are you? Not angels. Stop her. Please look at me. trying to prove we can help others we can be their voice if we join together we can make a difference we have the power to change so that no one feels alone again I don't want to go.
keeping an eye out for him, please. <laughs> If I could take all the things from you, I would. If I could take all the blame from you, I would. Sometimes I feel like it is all my fault, but I know that it's not. I need to. Listen. 